Welcome Seekers! You have made it to the Tarot Magician's channel. My name is Ricardo Gallart, and today I bring you another pick a card tarot reading. This one is going to be focused on career, money, just abundance, just what is coming next, what's coming next in, in your career. There's been a lot of chaos in the world, a lot, uh, definitely unwelcomed. A lot of people have lost their jobs, unemployment is up, um, there's been a lot of career changes going on as well, so um, this is the energy that's around us now, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety about money, finances. Um, so I want to delve into this and let you guys know what is next in your career, money, abundance, what is coming next. Now the process is very simple, as you, as you seekers already know. In front of you, you have three groups, three cards three stones take a moment and pick the group that calls to you the most this is group one this is group two and this is group three I'm going to give you a moment for you to select the group the stone that calls your attention okay welcome group number one so your very first oracle card your unicorn oracle card is sanctuary that's a nice card okay so sanctuary with the message of this unicorn is take time out from the world spend more time alone mediate or go on retreat interesting so you know we were talking about the anxiety that's been building in the world we've been talking about uh, the worries that that's that are that's coming everyone is kind of in this unison where it's even if you are financially well off uh, there's still worry going on so what this card is telling you is you have a, a bit more than you think you are resourceful you are intelligent you're articulate you are able to find what is right for you the one of the biggest problems that you're facing right now is your own anxiety it's your own darkness your own shadows your own worries um, you're, you're just too preoccupied preoccupied with what's next and um, there's this fear fear of the unknown fear of, of what might come of, of what may be of this and what this card is telling you is to take a step back and spend a little time more alone meditate retreat now let's go ahead and put more cards around this one I want to find out what is coming for you guys what is coming so for this I'm going to use the energy Oracle cards let's see what these cards are going to tell us what is coming <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Man. Oof. I like this group one. I really, really like this. Okay. So, we have right now, the first card out is man holding a coin. Okay. Man holding a coin. What this card is telling me is that any, any worry, any anxiety that you have about money, about jobs, about anything that has to do with your finances, uh, it's wasted energy. You're wasting your energy worrying about this. You are going to receive your finances. You're going to receive wealth. You're going to receive prosperity. You're going to get what you want. And it's going to come in the form of perhaps a new job. Um, you're more than likely going to move to a new profession, new ideas that's why this contract card is also coming now if you couple this contract card with the world card what this is telling me is that whatever ventures that you set out um, let's say maybe uh, blogging or maybe you're you're creating something you're sharing it with the world if you're involved in something that has to do with that it will be successful you're going to see your profits come in you're going to see your finances uh, in line in order you're going to see that your investments pay you dividends the dividends that um, unfortunately has not been paid to you because of everything that's happening now we have two cards here the last card that I got from this energy is rest and rejuvenation and as you can see 
you know, this man is, is just in complete uh, a meditative state and um, he is relaxed, he's not worrying. And you also have the Sanctuary Unicorn card. So what the message here is, rest, you are giving your energy away. There is an anxiety that's been building. You feel like it's not enough. You feel like the the worries of the world are just too, too just prevalent and there's no way that you're going to get out of this. So this card, these two cards are telling you to rest, relax, everything is going to come to you. And um, with the contract card, I do see that there are going to be some, there's going to be some collaboration. So when, when I look at the world card, I immediately think of just anything that's internet related. So, you know, perhaps there's going to be a lot of meetings going on, um, perhaps work from home opportunities. Um, you are going to be connected to this, uh, um, to cyber reality. So what I'm getting from that, if you, you know, if you apply that to, to what's actually happening now, I feel that you are going to be working from home and, um, perhaps this is a new job, new career. Um, there's definitely going to be something that's going to make you feel fulfilled contractually. So, you know, I get the feeling that you're going to negotiate the right contract for you. You're going to negotiate and you're going to tell them, look, this is what I'm worth. You've seen my resume. You know exactly that. You know exactly what I can bring to the table. Um, I am the person that you need for this job, and you are going to come out on top. They're they're going to see this value in you, so they're going to want to collaborate with you. They're going to want you around. Uh, they're going to want for you to 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 reinvent something. They're going to see an incredible amount of, of value in 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 getting you for this team. Now, let's go ahead and throw some tarot i want to go ahead and throw some tarot for this we're going to use the witch's tarot deck i just want to see a, a clearer understanding of what you've been through just so that we can kind of get a, a, an understanding of, of where you're going we need to know where you've been so let's see okay so you know with these three cards we have you know the star which is one of the most positive cards of the entire deck. We have the Ace of Wands. Now, this Ace of Wands is reversed. And then we have the um, Eight of Pentacles. So, what I am getting from these cards is, number one with the star, you've been in this kind of protective state for a while. So, you know, you've been stressing a lot. Obviously, you can see here a lot of anxiety, a lot of buildup, just a lot of darkness, a lot of shadows, and, and a lot of worry. And um, you've been very preoccupied with, with this. And you, without noticing it, you've been under some energy that's just very protective. So you've, you've been shielded. So I see this bubble of protection around you. And I see that you've been working diligently in order to make sure that your finances will stay in order. You've spoken to the right people. You've built the right connections. Um, there's been an advancement in this area. And, um, you know, you, you've, you, you've done very, very smart, smart things. Now, you felt, that's why we've got the Ace of Wands reverse, you felt like even though you've done all of this, that you are not going to see anything further. You're not going to progress. You're not going to move into some kind of new reality. Um, you're not going to be able to manifest your desires. That's your, your, what I see your, your thinking. Um, but that thinking is what's led to this unrest and the cards are telling you rest and rejuvenation sanctuary. Understand that the work that you've put in, in this eight of pentacles will give you what you need with this man holding a coin and contractually so you don't have to worry you do not have to worry and this is a very welcome welcome uh, welcoming uh, reading and message um, now let's go ahead and throw some tarot and see where you are going what's next I want to get more understanding of all of this this uh, world this maybe working from home this contract and for this I'm gonna throw more tarot I'm using the other witches tarot deck What's coming? What's coming? What's coming? What is coming? Hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Well, um, a lot of work is coming. Okay. Um, a lot of work. And, and I get the feeling that this is something that you, you find very welcoming. Um, you find this very welcoming, the fact that there's more work, more opportunities coming, because you have here the Ten of Wands um, energy. And the Ten of Wands energy is essentially telling you, and it's reversed, so it's essentially telling you that this work that's coming is going to, to definitely take a lot of energy out of you. That is why it, this reading is telling you to rest and rejuvenate and sanctuary. Take time from the world. Spend more time alone. So if you at this moment are not working, it's extremely important for you to relax it's extremely important for you to take everything in. Go to whatever places you can go for free. Take a walk in nature. Go outside and hug a tree. <laughs> whatever it is that you need to do, whatever your, your process is, please do it so that you can feel rested, so that you can feel rejuvenated because there is a period of great activity coming for you, okay? Um, it's not bad. It's going to give you um, this, this coin. It's going to definitely make you feel fulfilled um, but you know, it is work and it is going to be tiring work. And if you, you know, if you start this new contract or this new employment, this new opportunity, this new work from home, this new business venture, whatever, if you started off with this anxiety of, oh my goodness, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? Is everything going to go back to normal? Am I going to suffer more than I've been suffering? If you go into it with that uh, just energy draining mentality, you're going to feel even more exhausted. And you might drop what you're carrying. So as you can see, she's not having a very good time getting up there with all those wands. And she might drop them. She can't drop them. So... It's important for you to reserve your energy, okay? Reserve your energy. And, you know, I do see with this card, the Lady and the Lord, I see this fulfillment, this union, this complete victory. Um, so I get the feeling that perhaps you are uh, in a relationship right now with someone else who has your back they've um they've been through the same struggles that you're going through they've seen you they've maybe they've added to this anxiety perhaps they're just you know very worried themselves um maybe you've leaned on them for support um maybe they've leaned on you for support so definitely i see a partner here and um they're going to definitely benefit greatly from you resting from you feeling this rejuvenation i'm getting also with the 15 nature it's important for you to step out into nature into the unknown it's important for you to to see the beauty of what's around you enjoy everything that's around you um, and if you do this you will feel fulfilled you will feel like everything is going to come together for you it is going to be very welcoming so Definitely something to to think about of going out into nature. Um, perhaps you know if you live near any body of water. Anytime you go near a body of water, it's almost therapeutic. We're mostly made of water, so it's important. Maybe you can just put your feet in the water and just put your arms up in the skies and receive the healing that nature has for you. Just say it to yourself: Re I release all of this tension. I release all of this anxiety. I let it go, and let the earth take it all in and just get rid of that negative energy, that anxiety that's been building up. So that is what I see with this uh, nature card here. Now, let's go ahead and throw, I got this new Oracle deck, Monology. I mean, I wanna try it out for this reading. Let's see what the, the advice is, what the closing message is. What else, what else, what else? Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. So, you know, what this is telling me is that there is definitely this luck. There's this energy of this is going to be magnificent. That's the energy I'm getting. That's what I'm feeling. So, and the reason why is because you've already been feeling this star right here. You've been feeling this healing energy.
that's been just surrounding you, even though you've built an anxiety, um, because it's normal, we worry, especially with everything that's going on, it's just so unprecedented what's happening. So with this uh, moon card, what, what we're seeing here is anything is possible. The world is at your fingertips. So this is the, if you're an entrepreneur, um, any, any kind of maybe business venture that you've set out to, uh, to achieve or any investments that you've made, think very highly. Okay. Think otherworldly. Think that the best possible thing is going to happen because nothing is set in stone. And I see with all of the other cards, great prosperity, um, just great fortune, great, just it's, it's all over this reading. It's prevalent. It's, 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 di it's digestible. It's definitely something that, that you can take home and say, wow, this is what's going to give me more. And um, that's the energy that you have to try and bring into your life. And with this, the lady and the Lord, you know, I get this, this other partner. I, I want to do, I want to throw more cards about this other partner of yours because I want to see how they can maybe help in this area. I want more clarification. And for this, I'm going to use the Art Nouveau Tarot deck. Let's get some more clear understanding of this person. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. So, you know, I can see that this person has definitely brought in um, this, uh, spiritualness, this, um, this kind of energy where it's like, let's, let's try and look around and see what's next. Let's try and calm down. This is someone who, um, has a lot of, uh, a communicative ability. So maybe there's been a lot of talk therapy going on with this person. Uh, they've been your, your best friend truly. Now, you know, I do see that their message has gotten a bit anxious or it's got you a bit anxious so we've got this um page of pentacles upside down um so what this is telling me is that this person's advice about money and finances is riddled with fear anxiety they're kind of going through the same thing that you're going through even though they mean the best and they want the best for you their advice has been just one of boy unhappiness and it's um it's evident by this nine of cups here reversed um so this is the energy that they've been bringing this uh worried energy so you're kind of feeding off of that even though you feel like there's this energy of prosperity that you feel like you um at this moment are protected and you're not going to uh feel anything or you're not going to 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 just go underwater in any way and have a lack this person is reminding you hey there's bad stuff going on anything can happen and sure Anything can happen, but keep in mind, nothing is yet set in stone. It's important for you to tap into this, this positivity, this energy of anything can happen, but it's going to happen in the right way. It's going to happen in a positive way. It's going to happen to bring me contentment. It's going to happen because I am going to have joy. I'm going to have work. I'm going to be able to manifest my desires. So that's the energy that you must bring, that you must uh, uh, try and, and and hold on to. Now, I'm going to throw another some more Oracle cards because I want to get another clear understanding of, uh, of abundance. What exactly is going to come? Let's see, let's see, let's see. What advice, what advice do we have? All right, so this is the Avalon Oracle deck. And the first card out is the Lady of the Lake. So I feel that at the end of this dark tunnel, what awaits you is self-knowledge. Other world, otherworldly knowledge is what's coming for you. You're going to pretty much turn into this Lady of the Lake. There is an incredible amount of wisdom that's going to be entering your life with this lady in the lake. Um, there's mystery that's coming for you. Um, there is the goddess energy. Um, you are going to be able to see clearer. And why is this happening? Why is this 
why you know what why now why is it that so many people have to die in order for uh for us to be able to to have this awakening this knowledge and you know there is this sense of higher purpose you're definitely fated to do something magical to transform lives to create you're going to also embody this person here you're going to pretty much have this magic energy this intuitive energy this this prophetic energy you're going to be able to see further into the unknown and you're going to be able to take that knowledge and create and it's going to be of great great value to society great value and um you know there is definitely this this sense of abundance this is truly and, and this un unblocking this ace of wands that we got reversed earlier that that was telling us that there's there's this block and and there was just no way that we we're going to be able to move out of this this ace of wands will be upright and you will be able to grab that wand point it at the right direction at your goals and say this is going to be my life this is my reality my reality is greatness my reality is prosperity and it's going to happen that's what i see with this these two cards here these two oracle cards so very special reading a uh, very special message um, congratulations really really nice thank you seekers for watching please subscribe 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 i will be creating new content very soon for you seekers if you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you there is an amazon affiliate link at the bottom of the page that will provide me with a small commission at no cost to you it helps me just be able to buy the tools necessary to continue to grow expand the channel please give me a like that helps a lot and finally, if you're interested in your own personal reading, then please check the description below once again for my website link, which is tarotmagician.org. Thank you, Seekers, once again. Thank you for all of the wonderful comments that you leave. Um, they're inspiring. I, I've read them all. I try and respond to all of you. Thank you for leaving those comments. They're truly inspiring. Um, and, you know, if you like the reading or if you have any suggestions or anything, any advice that I can... Um, or maybe any ideas of what you uh, seekers want to see next, uh, please write it in the comment section. I want to hear from you. Um, so thank you. Also, I uh, reached 1,000 subscribers. That is truly, truly, truly fascinating. Um, thank you to all of the, my subscribers that are watching this that have supported me from the beginning. Um, I've, I've read what you guys have written. Uh, most of you have already congratulated me. I didn't even have to say anything. Thank you so much. Um, that's true love. Thank you. Um, and bye-bye. Welcome, group number two. Your very first oracle card is Cycles. All right. And this is from the uh, Unicorn Oracle deck. And what this is telling us is everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. It's beautiful. Um, so I get this feeling, you know, this is uh, career, money, abundance and what is coming next this reading that we're doing here so what this is telling me is that there's been a lot of fear anxieties that have been building up and it's led to some health issues and um, you know this could be just not surrendering to to what's happening um, there's I get this sense of just wanting to control more than you need to and, and not letting go and accepting um, certain things in your life and this has kind of led to some blockage and that blockage is is just getting worse and worse and worse and it's leading or how it's manifesting is is manifesting in health issues and it's important for you to tune into what's happening okay um, now let's go ahead and throw some Oracle energy cards and let's take a look and see what is coming next with your money, with your career, abundance. What is coming next for you guys? Let's take a look. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Interesting, interesting, interesting energies and cards here. So let's try and work through this. Um, what I am seeing here is that you have gone through a period of, boy, sadness. 
um, it's just been very difficult for you. you you've, you've suffered a broken heart. Now, this is in the area of finances. Um, so definitely it's, there's, there's a sense of, of money attached to this. There's a sense of uh, prosperity attached to this. But then there's also this man holding a heart here. Right, so I get the feeling that this broken heart came from a man. And what I am seeing is there's someone new coming into your life, a new man or a new woman. Someone new is coming into your life, into your existence that's going to create something for you. They're going to tune into this, um, or they are this magician uh, right here where, where they can just manifest pretty much anything. And there's wisdom beyond their years, there's understanding, there's revelation, there's this uh, higher knowledge, higher learning, uh, or essentially you are going to learn a lot from them. So this could be a mentor that's coming into your life, a best friend that's going to help you. Um, since we keep seeing, from what I'm seeing here is, this, this is someone that's going to truly be able to help you. Um, now. There is also this other card attachment that I'm seeing here. Um, what I'm getting from this is that there might be issues of codependency. And um, these codependency issues have led you to give too much of yourself. And now you're not, you, you know, you're in this place where you feel like you've given too much. And now all of a sudden you're stuck, right? Um, you, you, what you value most, which is um, love, now you're not going to have that. So I get this feeling that true prosperity for you is love. Um, but also, you know, this person had some kind of financial bearing in your life. So maybe they had a better paying job, um, or maybe they, uh, you know, had a business with you. And now, you know, you're in this situation where what are we going to do? Um, so I'm getting that feeling, that sense that for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, um, for, for the majority, I feel that there's a new love coming into your life that's going to help you truly financially. They're going to help you with this abundance. They're going to help you build. They're going to definitely help you. And one thing that's being asked of you in order for you to be able to receive this energy of abundance and prosperity, one of the things that's being asked of you is to take a step back and understand that everything at this time is happening because it has been divinely orchestrated this way. And it's important for you to worry about yourself right now. You have to heal from this broken heart, okay? The heart doesn't crack fully, but you can't, you can't let yourself drown under the the ocean that that comes out of this crack you have to to be able to take control of your life and you are going to i see here um, with the help of people so it's important for you to communicate it's important for you to maybe seek some additional help um, it could be some therapy it could just be a family member talk therapy is very good um, make sure that you're taking care of yourself make sure that you're taking care of, of your health you are extremely important okay you are extremely important and it's important for you to understand that and um, tune into what's happening in the world now it's the time to kind of relax to self-care self-meditate now let's go ahead and throw some wildwood tarot i want to get a better understanding of just money let's talk about money um what have you been going through with this money So we have the five of ecstasy. Um, it is reversed. So immediately I get the feeling that um, there have been some financial constraints. There's been um, financial, possibly calamity, really. Um, that's the feeling that I get. And this is in your past. Now, what is coming now? Boy, oh boy, you know, I keep getting this, uh, this man, I mean, you know, it, and, and, um, you know, it could be a man or a woman, but now we have the King of Stones, right? This is what's coming. So this finance, this money that you're going to get, this abundance is very closely tied to a man. 
you know, this could be maybe a family member that's that's going to give you some money and inheritance. Um, but definitely this sense of union, this sense of a man that's going to come and give you their heart. I, I see even perhaps marriage is in your future, um, a union, uh, some kind of divine understanding of, 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 of two uh, polar opposites coming together to form something magical. And now... As a confirmation of this person, we have a shaman, which is very substantial. Why is this shaman substantial? Well, because we also have this magician over here, magician and the mirror, and then we also have this shaman. So whoever is coming into your life, into your space, this person is definitely one that has um, this other world understanding. They can, they can tune into something that is truly truly transformative and it's going to be transformative for you it's going to be transformative for the people around you uh, but they have higher knowledge they have understanding um and you know one of the things that i'm seeing is that your greatest resource is going to be your yourself your body um your your emotions just your heart your, your heart broken at this moment is what i'm seeing you're very upset and it's leading to health issues. So you're going to obtain a great amount of healing from this person, this magician that's going to be stepping in, um, that's going to be helping you, the shaman. You know, the shaman is able to see further. They're able to go into the great beyond and, and, and battle with these dark forces and, and bring otherworldly messages to you. So, you know, definitely very important to, to understand um, and to be trusting and I feel that you will see this 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 man uh, when, when when they come in it could be a woman again but they keep showing up as a king man holding a heart so definitely a man is what I see here for the the great vast majority of you um, now let's go ahead and throw some more tarot I want to go ahead and uh, throw or use the art nouveau tarot deck And for this, I just want to get a clear understanding of the abundance that this magician is going to bring. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So we have the emperor. And immediately when I see this emperor sitting in his throne of power... I, I see this magician as someone that's going to bring order into your life, order that has not been there, that has not been present. They're going to bring true, true, true understanding um, and order. And with this two of pentacles reversed, I also get this feeling that they're going to bring this balance, right? They're going to be able to, to, to calm these seas that have been so rough for you. And they're gonna do it in pretty much the financial side of things. This is uh, a, a reading about money, finances, and you know, they're going to help. They're going to bring in this, this, uh, this, this abundance and they're going to help you surrender to the process that you're going through. They're gonna help you see that what you're going through is a part of this process of transformation. And it's important for you to let go and if you let go, you're going to be able to reap uh, your your rewards, your financial rewards, um, just spiritual rewards. You're going to be able to get what it is that you need. Um, so I also want to go ahead and throw. I, I got this new deck. This is the, the Moon Oracle deck. I want to throw one card for you guys and see what, what's the advice here. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> All right. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Look at this. A new start is coming. You got the new moon. That's beautiful. So it, it cements everything. Something new and exciting is coming into your life. A new start is coming. This is from the moon uh, uh, oracle deck. And it doesn't get any more beautiful than this. I mean, 
there is definitely something magical that's taking place in your life something new something wonderful something magical is coming into your existence and um, it's going to transform the way you speak it's going to transform the way you see life it's going to transform the way you communicate with people it's going to transform the way that you're able to manifest greatness in the world and this is you know a lot of it is going to come from this this uh, man this king of stones, this man holding a heart, this magician, this shaman, this emperor, a lot of male energy here. So definitely, um, definitely a man um, for the vast majority of you, this balancing, this rebalancing, this um, boy, the, definitely a union, a union that needs to happen. And, and now I want to get a clear understanding of why this union needs to take place. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and use this Oracle Avalon deck and see why is this union so important? What are you guys going to create? What are you guys going to bring into the world? <laughs> All right. This is the Avalon, um, the Avalon uh, Oracle deck and boy, oh boy, I mean. This, this is what's, what, what this union will bring. Action, power, sovereignty, truth, Excalibur is your card. Beautiful, beautiful card. And what is this going to do? This is going to perfect you. This is what I feel is you. This is, you are the chalice hill. This is you. And you will be perfected by this. There's going to be a balance. There's going to be this wellness, um, this yin and yang, this faith, this surrendering. You're going to believe again. You're going to believe that everything is possible again. There's going to definitely be a renewal. A new start is coming for you. A new start is coming. And, and it's definitely going to, to transform many things, many areas of your life, everything in your life, really. Um, you know, when I think of power, I think of, of you reaching out and grabbing a, a piece of your higher self, higher knowledge, higher understanding, and just be a, being able to take that and manifest things around you. So this shaman, this magician that's coming, they already are extremely intelligent, wise, understanding. Um, they're powerful. They're able to move in the world with ease. You're going to learn from them. You're going to learn their structure, their ways, the way that they're able to, to, to manifest that magic, create, and then bring something new. I, I get this feeling of healers. This person is a healer. They're healers of hearts, healers of just darkness. They're able to, to bring balance to people's lives. Um, so definitely maybe a council, um, perhaps some kind of, um, of spiritual leader, but this person will definitely help you in many, many ways. Um, and it can be anyone really, uh, but boy, I do feel that this union is going to bring about something, something beautiful, something transformative, something that you've been needing for, for, for a while now. And, um, I want to close this reading by throwing more cards. I'm going to throw, let me see here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw more cards from my Druid Tarot deck. This is one of the first decks that I ever had. They're big cards, kind of worn down, but man, I love the energy in these cards. So let's go ahead and throw these Druid cards. What's coming next? What's the advice? What can we, what else, what else, what else, what else? All right. So, you know, the message is clear. The message here is clear. There really is nothing. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I can possibly um, extract from this. But the message is just clear. Um, you're going to see your ships coming in. You're going to see something new come about. And, and you've, you have a desire. You've asked the universe for something. And now you're waiting. You're waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. And you're and you want this to happen to manifest and there's just been a lot of anxiety it just anxiety that's been built up um, you feel like your energy has been depleted completely just worrying about this uh, and, and maybe not knowing where you're going to be not knowing what is next what actions to take who to trust what uh, where can you travel who can you go to who do, who do you speak to I see that you've been exhausted truly you've exhausted yourself which is why this card 
this uh, Princess of Wands comes to us reversed, well, you're going to, to experience definitely something magical, something new. A new start is coming. Remember this card. A new start is coming. New moon, okay? New moon. So very important to understand that you're going through a transformative process. Sometimes there's people that come into our lives to break old thought patterns and they come and maybe they're a bit evil, they're a bit insidious, they don't want what's best for you, but man, you learn from those people a lot and now you're able to just move forward and, and take the lessons you've learned there and bring it to the next to the next uh, your next relationship, your next existence, your next reality. And um, I get this feeling that this person that's coming, they're gonna help you, they're gonna help you heal, and then you're gonna be able to take that and turn it into something totally different, something magical. You're gonna be able to create magic with them. They're going to turn you into something more, and this union will help both of you. Um, so it's definitely something special that's coming for you, group two. I'm very happy that I was able to do this reading for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, 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 seekers. I will be creating new content very soon for you. If you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you, there is an Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of the page that will provide me with a small commission at no cost to you. It helps me. It helps me be able to buy these tools that are necessary to grow, expand the channel. Also, please give me a like. And finally, if you're interested in your own personal reading, then please check the description below once again for my website link, which is tarotmagician.org. Thank you for all of the wonderful comments that I've gotten. I try and read all of them. Um, I have read all of them. And honestly, uh, just so much love that I've gotten from you. So much love. Thank you, Seekers. Thank you for being so magical, so wonderful. You are my inspiration for doing this. Um, you know, taking this that I've learned from the tarot and giving it to you guys, that is something magical to me. That is what, what makes me feel fulfilled. So thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Um, we just surpassed 1,000 subscribers, which as you probably know, that's a big milestone. So it makes me feel great that you guys are taking, that you guys are receiving from this. And um, I hope that it's been transformative in some way in your life. Um, thank you once again so much. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Bye-bye. Okay, welcome group number three. Your very first unicorn oracle card is support. All right, so. Now this card is beautiful in many ways because this is a Pegasus. As you can see, you have this woman resting on top of this Pegasus's back. And the message here is ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. I mean, wow, right? So, you know, it's funny because the first two readings that I did uh, for the first two groups, it was all about anxiety, anxiety building up, anxiety overtaking. And the third group is also about the same thing. It's about anxiety. It's about worry. It's about not knowing what's next. It's about, oh my goodness, is everything going to be okay? And let's go ahead and try and answer that. Let's try and put more cards around this one and see. For this, I'm going to use my energy oracle. And I want to... The question I'm asking here is, what's coming next? What is coming next in your finances, career, money, abundance? Let's see. <laughs> okay. All right. So I laugh because the man holding a heart has been showing up today. All right. All right. So there is a union that's coming. A union that's coming and I see marriage to be quite honest with you um, this person is coming to us as the man holding a heart um, and this man holding a heart is someone that's loving that's caring someone that has your best interest at heart someone that wants truly 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 to give you everything this is a person that comes in and transforms your life completely now a deeper understanding of what they want is seen in this temple path here. 
this to me symbolizes marriage they want a union with you a, a spiritual union a contractual union um just a union under god <clears throat> so I, I see marriage i see partnership um and it's also kind of magical to get this yin and yang because when i when i see this yin and yang immediately i think of twin flame right twin flame that's what i'm seeing so this yin and yang energy here it's 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 very very important because with the temple and the man holding a heart it symbols love it symbols something new now i get this feeling that there's some magic involved here you have some guide some kind of other spiritual spiritual energy that's backing you up um, something that you might have done maybe visualization magic whatever the point here is that you have asked something of the universe and this goddess of the moon has listened this energy has heard you and there is something moving there's something coming in the form of love and it's all tied to your finances it's all really tied to your the the abundance it's tied to your career it's everything is just intertwined with this man holding a heart so you know this person that wants to marry you could very well be uh, someone that has some kind of business and and perhaps now that you guys are coming together there's going to be a business partnership with a business is going to flourish you'll handle a side of it um, he'll handle a side of it I keep saying he because you know it's a man holding a heart but could be a woman um, the vast majority of you it's gonna be a man that's gonna be coming in um, because you know we have the man holding a heart not the woman holding a heart so obviously that's why I say it um, but you know I twin flame immediately when I see this yin and yang which tells me that you're going to see your worst and your best in them and there's gonna be this growth that's gonna take place um, now this feeling of support here this is what you've been needing for a long time you've been needing to just get rest to nurture yourself there's been a lot of anxiety there's been a lot of negative emotions of oh my goodness am i going to make it is everything going to be okay is anything ever going to be okay again and um, the feeling here is yes it will and for you to understand that there is something going on behind the scenes some higher purpose higher 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 than than you can see right now and you've actually asked this you've put it into in, in, in the universe the universe has heard you and now you're going to receive this and it's gonna be in the form of a man man holding a heart they're gonna give you everything that you want they're gonna give you the the house that you want I do see here with the temple path I get this feeling of house building something right um, a home not a house but a home that's what I see with this temple path spiritual maybe this person is going to have some very strong values and um, these values are something that you're going to share with them and and you're going to be able to grow so what is the resounding message here the resounding message is you've the, the hard part has already passed okay so rest just relax take take your time okay understand where you're at right now understand where you're going understand everything that you've been through um, reflect reflect and be at peace so that when this person comes into your life they can see this peaceful goddess in you and um, they'll be able to identify you they'll be able to know oh my goodness this woman is the one for me this is me I mean this is my twin flame they might not it may not be self-evident at that moment even though for you I feel that you're going to see it clearer and the reason why you'll see it clearer than than they will is because you're going to be well rested and you're going to receive messages from up above you're going to receive um this sense of of um not seeing but you're going to hear things you're going to hear things and and it's going to be a confirmation and you might even see a radiant light in this person and that radiant light it's going to be this aura that you're going to see around them and you're going to be able to identify this is the person and the reason you'll see that glow in them is because of this goddess this goddess of the moon they're going to give you that message that's how they're going to tell you this is it this is the guy this is the gal this is it 
they're going to show it to you with this glow, this vibrant glow. Okay. And let's go ahead and throw more cards. I want to, I just want to, I'm curious about this person that's coming in. And I also want to talk about your past. Let's try and try and delve into your past. For that, I'm going to use this uh, Art Nouveau uh, tarot deck here. So we'll throw some tarot for your past. Okay. Now, you know, even though we're talking about this love that's coming in, um, we are also, because this, this love of yours is so tied to your career and your finances, surprisingly so, um, but we are all, I'm also seeing here a lot of uh, frustrations, fears in the past, a lot of bad decisions. So you've set out many things in the world. You've worked very hard to achieve a certain level in your life of prosperity, which is evident by this uh, three of wands here. And you're now waiting. It's like, well, I've worked so hard. I put in the work. I've asked the universe what exactly what I want. I visualized it. Why am I getting it? Well, I mean, come on, three to five business days. What's happening here? <laughs> so, you know, sometimes things they take a little longer to materialize. And I do see that there's been uh, some poor planning going on. We have this uh, Queen of Swords, but reverse. So, there in the past, there's been some poor planning, maybe some poor decision making, um, certain advices that you you should have heard from maybe powerful women or just women who have walked through the same path that you're walking and you didn't listen to their advice because you're a bit of a rebel so why would i listen to them i'm living my life they're living theirs you know yellow so there's definitely been some sense of not listening to some higher kind of advice and it's resulted in frustration that's what it's resulted in just great frustrations um this is you uh you know crying worried and um the message here okay is for you to let go of all of that you've learned from these bad decisions that you've made in the past you've learned from all of this toxicity that's come into your life this decision making um this you, you just going and, and and throwing your fire and your desires into the wind and expecting something great that is perfectly fine now you know, unfortunately, it has not panned out as, as good as you've wanted to. But rest assured that you are going to take the lessons of this fall and you're going to be able to apply it to what's coming. And you're going to be able to manifest something beautiful, something wonderful. A home is coming. Your twin flame is coming. This man holding a heart, this... Um, energy of transformation is coming in your life and it's what this reading is telling you is for you to get more rest nurture yourself so that you can be mentally prepared for what's coming so that you can be spiritually prepared for what's coming and so that you can easily identify this person when they're in your lives because the worst thing that that can possibly happen is you know you've exhausted yourself so much that when this person comes you can give them your best side right so you don't want that. You definitely want something else. Now, let's go ahead and throw some more tarot. I want to throw this witch's uh, tarot deck here to see exactly, just get a better understanding of what's coming in this abundance card fell out. Oh, no. A lot of cards fell out. Okay. We're going to let the one that fell on the floor there. We don't need it for this reading, as evident as that is. But we are going to use this one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what is coming. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. So this is what's coming. We've talked about all of your past mistakes. You have the King of Chalice, right? This is from the Witch's Tarot deck. So, my goodness. This man that's coming into your life, right? Um, they're going to just bring such happiness to you. Um, they're going to bring such contentment. You're going to feel home. You truly are going to feel home. And I know that when every time I keep saying uh, home, there's something that's tingling inside of you because there's definitely been this sense of, of, of just wildness in your home life from what I see here. 
Uh, maybe you've had oppressive people, op op oppressive women around you that have um, not given you what you need. And these oppressive women have made it very difficult for you. But, you know, I get this um, feeling that this, this man or, or, you know, this, this king of chalices energy here. They're going to bring exactly what you need. And and one of the things that you need is this youthful exuberance, um, this daring, like traveling energy, going out into the world, getting on your horse and just riding off. This horse is a car. It's an airplane. It's you're going to be able to explore and see the world with this person. And you both are going to create magic. There's a balance that you guys are going to bring into your life. So we have the, the city here. So definitely the right mix of everything, emotions, um, um, you know, uh, feelings of joy, feelings of prosperity, understanding, love, all of these things are going to be mixed into this pot and something new and beautiful and wonderful is going to come out of it. So this is what's coming for you uh in this in this life in this existence and you know this career this reading is it's career it's money it's abundance um but you know we're we're being kind of taken down this road okay um it's not all about money it's really not it's true abundance for you is going to come in the form of marriage it's going to come in the form of a twin flame and that's going to lead you down this path of prosperity and um that's very beautiful. I mean, I want to throw more cards. I don't want this reading to end. I want to throw more cards. So the next cards uh, that I'm going to use are the, uh, this is a new deck. I don't really, it's, they're kind of interesting. I, I like them, but this is new. This is the moon Oracle deck. And let's see what advice this moon Oracle deck has for us. Ah, show the world, the real you. Oh boy, very beautiful message from this uh, this moon, a full moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. I mean, boy, oh boy. I mean, boy, yes. So let's go back. Let's go back to your past. Um, we've already discussed that there has been there have been some oppressive women. Uh, maybe they haven't been too too nice. They haven't been too supportive. They have given you advice. I don't see that you've listened to that advice. Probably because of past pains, past hurts. And um, unfortunately, you felt um, like you just don't have much and you felt attacked. You felt like you're perhaps even worthless. Okay, that is not true. You must take that mentality out of your mind. This energy has to leave this Knight of Swords energy and something new needs to take its place. Show the world the real you. Um, you know, if it's social media, go on social media, show the world how happy you are. You know, if it's if it's something that you can share, maybe a positive message, um, just positivity, try and get into a state of, 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 re of relaxation. And then when you get into that meditative state, um, try and create something new. And believe it or not, this is going to attract this goodness into your life. It's going to attract this balance. And it's going to serve you in, in, in ways that you right now can't really truly see and comprehend, but it will help you see things clearer. Now, for more advice, I want to throw this, uh, some cards from this Avalon Oracle deck. Let's take a look and see what further advice, further advice, further advice. What's coming? What's coming? What is coming? Oof. Yes. All right. First card out of what is coming. Truth. Sovereignty. Power. Action. Come on. This is what's coming. So I, this injustice is going to reverse completely. The next card is Igraine. And, and this is what you are going to turn into. This is what you are where you are headed you are headed towards acceptance this feminine power you're going to be able to step into your power you're going to be able to see the beauty that you are the beauty that's inside of you the beauty in everything this nihilistic mentality that you've developed will be no more and it will lead you into this motherhood energy and boy it's going to be so beautiful and it ties in so beautifully with the temple path marriage 
this man holding a heart, um, this king of chalices here, this exuberant energy that's going to come in, this balance that's going to take place in your life. It is definitely going to, to give you something more and you are going to benefit from this infinitely. You are going to definitely see something wonderful. And um, I want to see what, what else, what other advice I can give. So I'm going to use the Art Nouveau Tarot and see what more advice, uh, advice, advice, advice. Okay. 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 So the advice is we're going right back to the main theme of the reading. Okay. Which is support. And, um, the advice here is the world and the two of pentacles. So why the world and why the two of pentacles? What you're being told here is that there is going to be a sense of you not feeling fulfilled. Um, there's, I mean, you know, this reading is going to end and, um, you know, you're not going to have your man holding a heart with you right away. You're probably going to click on another video and then you're going to have that feeling of, oh, this isn't real. Oh, it can't be. Oh. So that is why you're being asked to quiet your mind. Stop driving yourself so crazy. Quiet your mind. If you need to ask for help, ask for help. Ask the people that you know you should help. If you need to reach out for some maybe therapy, talk therapy, that is important. Um, but it's, it's also important for you to rest. Rest your mind and nurture yourself. Maybe take walks in nature. Um, make sure that you're eating the right diet get into the right balance, into the right mix. That's why you have this two of pentacles showing its face here and the, the, the world, but you got the world reversed. So what this is telling you is that if you don't get into this balance, into this rest state, into this nurturing, then you're going to tip over and it's going to be very difficult when you meet this person for you to be able to give them your heart and for them to be able to see you. Um, so what's essentially going to happen is that it's going to delay everything and you don't want delay, right? You want things to materialize quicker. You want things to come. All of these wonderful things that you've asked the universe that you visualized, you want these things to materialize as quickly as they possibly can. And the only way of that happening right now is for you to tap into this support energy, this ask for help, get more rest, nurture yourself, show the world the real you. Um, so remember what's coming out of this. Remember where you're headed. You're headed towards motherhood, feminine power. You're headed towards beauty, acceptance, and you're going to be able to step into your power. There's going to be truth. And boy, if you can just learn to quiet your mind, if you can just learn to maybe even trust a little more in, in, in what you've already heard and what you know in your heart is the truth, you will reap the, the, the benefits from this. Um, you know, there's been past pain and, and I'm not denying that it, it's definitely hurtful when someone hurts you. When you get hurt by, say, a sociopath or a psychopath or maybe even someone who is a family member, someone who you really trusted in, someone who you you confided certain things in and then they gossip behind your back and they told everyone and now everyone knows. And this is a whole big problem just out of this small situation. And now it's something so cataclysmic. And how am I going to overcome this? Remember that it's not all about these people. It's about you you come first and once you once this yin and yang this uh, twin flame energy comes into your life understand that once you're married you two will become this uh this union this 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 I, I get this feeling of one you know this this union of yin and yang just one person and you guys are going to be able to to just align yourself so beautifully that you will enjoy everything about life you're going to want to step out. You're going to want to have that, you know, this, this mix here. And boy, there's so much fun coming for you guys. There's so much wonderful things coming. But I just keep getting this, this feeling of anxiety. This, this feeling of, no, it's not enough. No, it's not enough. And, um, and you know, th that can happen when you've been hurt. It's, it's normal. It's normal. 
for you to feel that way. But understand that what is coming is truly great. And please don't do more. Don't give more of yourself than you need to. Don't exhaust yourself thinking of this. Accept it. Thank the universe for the miracle that's about to unfold in your life. Thank the universe. It's already happened. Okay? So, thank you, Seekers, for watching this. Um, please subscribe, 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 Seekers. I will be creating new content very soon. And if you like any of the tarot decks or oracle cards that you see before you, there is an Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of the page. It, it helps me be able to just, you know, provide uh, or to buy these tools. Um, it, it will give me a commission, but it's a small commission at no cost to you. As I said, it helps me be able to buy the tools necessary to grow the channel, expand. Um, also, please give me a like. That helps a lot. And finally, if you're interested in your own personal reading, then please check the description below once again. The website link is tarotmagician.org. I want to thank you, Seekers, so much for the comments. Oh, my God. I, I read them all. Um, and it's definitely truly, truly beautiful. Um, most of you just give me so much love. Um, you've given me ideas for videos. That's also helpful. Um, that'll be able, you know, it allows me to know exactly what you guys are interested in, how I can grow and how I can be of value for, for all of you. So thank you. Thank you truly for leaving those comments. And I hope all of you seekers have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you and bye-bye.